हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द मैथ्स क्लास ऑफ माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल सूरत सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट चैप्टर एट कंपेरिंग क्वांटिटीज माइलस्टोन थ्री एज यू नो दैट फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन लाइव सेशन so here i will start to explain from question number 4 question number 4 says krishna borrowed 21600 at 12% per annum compounded annually for one year and ram borrowed 21600 at 12% per annum compounded half yearly fine see both the person the principal is same rate is also same and the timing is also same but when krishna borrowed that compounded annually and when ram borrowed that is compounded half yearly now the question is who pays more interest and by how much what you will do for that you will calculate their amount when that krishna compounded annually and the ram borrowed compounded half yearly fine for krishna you will calculate krishna's amount first and the formula is what p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to the power t clear and second hand you will calculate of ram's amount how will you calculate the formula is same 1 plus but here see ram borrowed compounded half yearly yeah so the formula will come out r upon 2 into 100 raised to the power 2 into t now principal is what 21600 into 1 plus rate is 12% and the timing is 1 year clear 21600 into do cancellation for that 26 are 12 25 are 23 are 6 225 so this will come 25 ones are 25 and 328 28 upon 28 upon 25 that is one time okay 21600 into 28 upon 25 we will cancel it now just do cancel 55 za 54 za then 51 za 5 now 864 into 28 it will come 24192 to 20 Four thousand one hundred ninety-two. Now go to calculate for Ram's amount. Principal was twenty-one thousand six hundred into one plus rate was twelve. Two into hundred. Two into T, time is one year only. Clear? Now twenty one thousand six hundred. We will cancel it. Now two six are twelve. Two three is a six. This will come fifty three upon fifty. So twenty one thousand six hundred fifty three upon fifty. Two times, so twenty-one thousand six hundred into fifty-three 
upon 50 into 53 upon 50. Clear? Now you will cancel it. 0, 0, cancelled. When you will calculate it, you will get 6, 0, 6, 7, 44 divided by 25 and the approx value will come 24,269.76 that is in rupee this is amount only fine now what you will do you will calculate who pays more interest so you will calculate interest first compound interest formula is what amount minus principal and this is for the person was Krishna and the second person was Ram so for both you will calculate compound interest that is amount minus principal and for this Krishna amount was 24,192 principal was same for both of them 21,600 now compound interest you will get rupee 2,592 and for Ram you will calculate that was 24,269 rupee 76 pesa minus principal was same for both of them and it will come rupee 2,669 rupee 76 pesa. Question was who pays more interest? You can see that Ram pays more interest by how much? Wait. get their difference 2669.76 minus 2592 and that will come 77 rupee 76 pesa clear this is your answer next question Ahmed borrowed 8000 at 10% per annum compounded annually for 1.5 years and Farhan borrowed 8000 at 10% per annum compounded half yearly fine in Ahmed compounded annually and our Farhan's case compounded half yearly so we will calculate their amount separately one side for Ahmed's amount and the second side I will calculate for Farhan's amount and you know the formula see it says compounded annually so annually time is given 1.5 years that means one year full and the rest half month you can say half year yeah that is 6 by 12 yes half year so for one year you will calculate completely and for half yearly you will calculate individual so here amount P into 1 plus R upon 100 into T principal was 8000 1 plus rate was 10 percent and the timing was 1 0 0 cancel 11 by 10 8000 into 11 by 10 that is 8800 this 8800 amount will become principal for next half year because here we have to calculate separately fine 
So, I will continue the same first, then after that again I will back to the this slide. Clear? Now, for half yearly you will calculate that simple interest for this it will come P into R into T upon 100 and the principal will come what will come 8800 because second year amount will become next year principal and the rate was 10 and timing was half yearly 0 0 cancel 244 it will come 440 so total amount due for what will come that was 8800 plus 440 it will come 9240 this is amount and compound interest amount minus principal amount 9240 minus 8000 it will come rupee 1240 clear having the previous slide for Farhan's amount so for Farhan's amount what you will do let me select the pen amount same this is compounded half yearly so this is same so rate also will be half so same p into 1 plus r upon 2 into 100 2t because compounded half yearly principal 8000 1 plus rate is 10 2 into 100 and 2 into time is 1.5 5 year that will become 3. So, 8000 0, 0 cancel 21 by 20 3 times. Eight thousand into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 0, 0, 0 cancelled 2 4s are 8 2 to the 4 and 2 to cancel. Now 21 into 21 into 21 that will come 9261. Clear that is amount. Now calculate compound interest and compound interest amount minus principal. So, 9261 minus 8000 this way you will calculate 1261. Clear? Now, who pays more interest? This you got 1241, this you got 1261. So, who pays more interest? Farhan. Farhan pays more interest by how much? Get their difference 1261 minus 1240 rupee 21. Clear? Now, next. Now, here Ranjan borrowed 80,000 at 15 percent per annum compounded annually for 2 years and 3 months find the amount here only you have to find the amount no need to find compound interest what you will do for the solution principal is given that is 80,000 rupee rate is what 15 percent per annum and the timing is 2 years and 3 months. So, here I will make one change. 2 years means the whole and the 3 months can I write this is 3 by 12. Why? Because 1 year we have 12 months. So, 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12. So, this 1 by 4th of the year separately I am going to count. 2 year completely whole and by 1 by 4th separately. So, for first 2 years you have to calculate the amount that will come p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to the power t 80,000 into 1 plus 
r was 15 and the timing was 2 first time going to calculate 2 years clear 5 3 is a 15 5 2 is a 10 0 as it is so 23 by 20 80,000 into 23 by 20 2 times 80,000 into 23 by 20 into 23 by 20 now you have to cancel it 0 0 cancel 2 4s are 8 400 2 200 so if you will multiply this you will get 105800 that means 1,5800 rupee amount how we did the previous question the same so this amount will become principal for the next this three month that will count in third year fine so this I'm going to separate I'm going to count separately clear so calculate the simple interest for it first same principal into rate into time upon 100 so second year amount will become third year principal so that was 1,5800 rate was 1500 and the timing was 1 by 4 because I changed it yearly 1 by 4 into 100 0 0 cancelled now 2 to the 4 5 to 9 into 15 by 12 when you calculate it will come 3967.5 now amount you have to but question says that amount you have to calculate so total amount will come the two years amount 1,5800 and plus this interest 3967.5 so total amount will come how much 109767.5 1 lakh 9767 rupee 50 pesa clear so this is the way to calculate thank you Further questions we will solve in live session.